Hey guys, it's Heather with TwoBlooms.com and in this editing tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a high contrast edit right here in Lightroom. So I'm going to be demonstrating with this photo today. So this is the end result that we're going to be going for. Um, I'm going to be going from this um, straight out of camera image to this final edit. So let's get started right away. Let me go ahead and um, just start with the basic panel. I'm going to be walking you through the different panels. This is going to be a combination of hand edits and presets. So first of all, let me reset everything. Um, so this is actually my straight out of camera image. It's a little bit overexposed. I typically like to underexpose my images to um, just to record as much data as possible. I don't like to shoot overexposed, but this was a very um, short-lived moment for my rambunctious toddler. So he was only laying like this for not even two seconds. So I had to quickly capture it and I wasn't able to um, change my camera settings. So I am gonna bump down the exposure just a little bit because I like to work with a darker image and then I can bring this stuff back up later if needed. So this looks pretty good to start out with. Um, I lost some of those highlights and that's what I'm going for. I don't want his face blown out, but I want the, the background to be a little bit darker. And then I'm just gonna come over here and just take out some of the highlights a little bit more just so his face doesn't get blown out later on. And I can always come back through here and do some final tweaks later. Um, I am going to increase the shadows. Um, we'll just start about here for now. And I'm gonna up my whites because I want to have more contrast. I know it seems kind of silly because I don't want these highlights here, but I do want it to be nice and bright. So I'm gonna add like about 20, 25. And then I am going to um, increase my blacks. See, that just really takes on an, a very high contrast image right off the bat. Okay, so I'm gonna do about negative 21. That looks pretty good right now. I am going to bump up my clarity a bit just so it really makes the image pop. It makes him stand out. So that looks pretty good. 21 looks like my lucky number so far. Um, I am going to add some vibrance, and this basically just adds colors to the midtones. Um, I always do a little bit of vibrance just because I love colorful and um, really vibrant photos. So nothing too crazy, but um, so you can tell already how this has really taken on a very different image. So I'm going to come down to my presets and I'm just going to use one preset on this just to liven it up. I'm going to use Purely Bright for my Purely Polished collection and this just really gives it some oomph and some extra contrast. So now I'm going to just kind of tweak it and polish it up even more. Um, he does have a little bit more highlights over here so I'm just going to decrease those a little bit. And let's see, next step I'm going to do, I want, I really love this um, little couch that he was laying on, but I really want the focus of the photo to be him. So I'm gonna come over here to my graduated filter and I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna choose burn. And I'm gonna start on my left corner and I'm just gonna bring it out to about where his face is. I don't want to touch his face, but I really want a lot of this um, to flow right into where he is. So I'm gonna bring my exposure down even more, down, 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 just till I like this um, gradation here. And even though his face is getting a little darker, I um, I can always fix that. Okay, so I love the way that this is looking here. So I'm going to come over here to brush because I wanna brush some of this off of his face. 
So I choose my brush option and down here I'm going to choose erase and this is going to erase the graduated filter effects right off of his face. So I'm scrolling up and down with my mouse to um, change the size of my brush and I'm just going to go right over his face and his hair, even his little hand because I want his whole little body to be the focus of this image. So that looks pretty good. And if this was darker over here, I would do the same thing, but this is looking pretty good. And it, this really just focuses on him. Now what I could do is sometimes I add a um, another filter. I'm just gonna come up here and use a, my inner light filter um, from my recollections presets. It just adds another little boost of light, but that might be too much. So I'm gonna come over here to my radial filter and just tone that down just a little bit. I just want that extra little bit of light in the center of the image. So now it really keeps the focus on him and it really creates this really high contrast image. So you can see the before and the after. Just with a few hand tweaks and uh, presets, you don't have to use presets. You can come down here to your tone curve and kind of play with it to make the most of your image. So each image is gonna be a little different because of the lighting, because of the subjects and um, how it was taken. So I hope you found this tutorial useful and that you'll be able to use it in all of your editing. Uh, for more editing tips and Lightroom tricks, make sure you check out my website at twoblooms.com. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.